So for this cool Bennett card change tutorial he did, you can kind of use it with any object you want in the clip. Um, I'm just using it for cars because that's what he did. So let's say you had a flower, you can do the same thing and it's still the same technique if you want. It's pretty much a sky replacement and a sky changing color, but there's just some masking to it that you can use and I thought, you know, why not bring it in. So um, we can use it, we're going to use it with this clip first and in this clip. I can tell you right now it's going to work better with this clip because there's not a lot of whites except this smoke, but we're going to change that with masking. And with this clip, there's going to be a lot of white, so we're going to have troubles with it. But I'm going to show you how to do it either way. So it's pretty simple. You just want to get your clip. And you want to duplicate the track. And so first thing you want to do is you want to mute this bottom track. And then you want to get go over to Chroma Keyer. Drag the default onto your top clip. And then you see it's already getting darker. We just kind of want the car to be as dark as it can like that but we don't want the background to be as dark as well so that looks about how good we're gonna get it and we bring this up see that looks about how much we're, how good we're gonna get so it looks like we're gonna have to do a mask on this one what you want to do with the mask is you want to click this little pan and crop button here Click on a mask, and then you can kind of crudely draw it, and it'll still work. But make sure your feather is on, about right there. And then I'm just gonna go right here. There you go. That's fine. Voice back. Okay. So now that you have your mask on, you want to duplicate the layer. And then you're gonna to want to go to the top layer, take off, or no, keep on the chroma key. Go to the bottom layer, take off the chroma key, and then you're gonna you're gonna to want to search up color corrector, and then you should want to pick number one, drag the default onto the second one, and then if I want to change this blue, I'm gonna change it to blue, about right there. And then I want to unmute the bottom layer, and then I'll have a blue car. Now, you can see all this garbage here. That's just because my mask isn't very well done. So, to do that is I go to the bottom layer, the one with the color key on it, the chroma key on it, and change that mask. Here, I'm just going to bring this, or bring this mask to a feather. Hold on. the type in have that bring this in and then I'm gonna go to the top layer bring that feather in there you go now you have a blue car that's not all garbage looking and then let's say if you wanted to change the colors it's all about keyframing so Let's go, you want to rotate there, actually no, where's my, oh you want to go to your second clip, that's where the color is. Go to your color corrector, and then since we changed the second one mostly, um, we're just going to have to keyframe that, so click this little keyframe button right here. Let's just go to the middle, let's make it green. Wait, that's the wrong one. Go to the middle, make it green. Go to the end, and make it purple. Right, so we'll have. Let me change this to that. So I have blue, green, purple. It's all pixelated because I went, you know, trapped auto. Now you see all this like white lines. That's because I just didn't really do a good mask. You can do a good mask and all, and still get the same effect. So, or it doesn't have to be that good of a mask, but it has to be decent enough. Um, because we're doing chroma key on the top clip anyway so it you can kind of be outward see i have my mask outward here but it's not really getting it but i can change it like that move this to over here and that's a blue car 
and then change this this to out here now it's kind of hard with white cars too especially because you know the road is white and a lot of things in the in like the video are going to be white um so i like to do it with you know colored cars like red because it's way easier because you don't have a lot of red things in the world and here let me bring this out and bring this out and like that and that's a red car even though it's a little bit right here but no one's going to notice if it's fast Alright, so let's move on to the second clip, and it's pretty much the same techniques I'm going to teach you, so you guys can, if you, uh, you guys can do it, but I'm just going to do it just so you guys can see more feel of it. So I already have my three clips right here, since we're going to have, to, we're going to need to mask it out for this one, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to, I'm actually make it easier on myself. I'm going to delete the top clip, mask out the middle one. Right, and I'm gonna want to get the wheel in there. Fast mask, and then I'm gonna do both for this feather type. I should do about two since I'm kind of on it, and then I'm going to copy this layer on top of this layer by holding Control and dragging it up. So the reason I did the mask first is because now this top layer has a mask as well, which is what we need. Now I'm going to drag these red midtones to the bottom layer, and you won't see anything because we need chroma key the top layer. So let's go to chroma key, drag that on, and then we will need to drag on this pen tool and bring that to about white. So we have a white car. Bring it on the low threshold. I guess that gets rid of this. I didn't know about that. So just so you guys know. And now I'm going to mess with these this mask right here so it doesn't look garbage. Where are the masks? All right here. Okay. I guess right here as well. Okay, so if we look now at this video, we can see okay, and basically do the same thing as the bottom one. We're gonna go to the oh no, sorry, not the bottom one. Oh, we're gonna go to the middle one. And then change the color corrector, keyframe it. I want it to be, you know, let's say this blue. A little bit too blue, but about right there. And then yellow, a little bit too yellow, so about right there. So if you look at this clip right now, we go red, green, blue. And that's how you change a car in Sony Vegas, the color of a car in Sony Vegas. Make sure you have these bottom clips. Uh, I didn't really explain them why you need these bottom clips. Is because if you don't have them, you know you won't have the rest of the video. That's pretty much how you do it. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Sorry if you can hear anything in the background. I just got a new setup and I'm still figuring out all these settings and how to get all the best audio and stuff. Um, I might change it in post. So if you didn't hear that much, you know, well, good thing. Uh, subscribe and stuff and whatnot. What tutorials coming? there.